Hello, everybody, and greetings from the Delta College Planetarium. My name is Brian, and I'm here to bring you the next episode in our continuing series about the constellations. Last time, we talked about Orion's two hunting dogs in the night sky, Canis Major and Canis Minor. Today, we're going to look at another constellation in the Winter Circle. The easiest way to find our constellation is to use the stars of Taurus the Bull. Remember that we can easily find Taurus by examining the bright stars of Orion. If we draw a line through the stars of Orion's belt and continue that line up and to the right, we arrive at the bright orange star Aldebaran. Aldebaran is the angry eye of Taurus the Bull. The bull's face is drawn from the V-shaped Hyades star cluster, and two horns extend from the tops of the V. Today we're going to take a closer look at the right-hand horn in Taurus. Just off the tip of that horn, there's this pentagon shape of stars. This pentagon forms the bulk of the constellation Auriga, the charioteer. The pentagon forms most of the charioteer's body, and a triangle on top completes his head. The charioteer is holding three goats on his right side. Goats? Yeah, goats. Auriga is a strange constellation. It is very old, but its story is not very well understood. Surviving records indicate that the Babylonians sometimes saw this constellation as a herd of goats, or as a shepherd of goats. The Greeks associated with a few different mythological figures who used chariots, like the Athenian king Erichthonius, but sometimes he's seen as Bellerophon, a rider of Pegasus who has no association with chariots. The name Auriga comes from the Latin word used to describe Roman slaves forced to drive chariots. So all of this is to say that unlike other constellations where it might be easy to point out a particular story or associated character, Auriga is just this complete mess of mythology dating back thousands of years. It is particularly strange that the mythology of Auriga is so confused because the brightest star in Auriga is one of the brightest stars in the sky and you would expect it to occupy some point of significance. Capella is also sometimes called the Goat Star because it has itself, since ancient Babylon, been associated with a goat. These three nearby stars are Capella's kids. Auriga sits along the plane of the Milky Way. This might be harder to see than when we're looking at the summer constellations, because now we're looking out away from the center of the galaxy. Though not as dense as the summer Milky Way, this area of the sky is still rich with deep sky objects. Auriga is home to the open clusters of stars Messier 36, 37, and 38. All three fall along the plane of the galaxy on Auriga's left-hand side, and all are interesting targets to look for in small telescopes. So if it's clear where you are tonight, go out and look for Auriga the charioteer in the night sky, and try to pick out Capella, the bright goat star, and the three kids. If you have a telescope, try to find those open star clusters M36, M37, and M38. That's it for today. Next time, we'll complete the winter circle of constellations. This is Brian from the Delta College Planetarium, wishing you clear skies.